thought, if I stay in the shadows and I don't talk about it, and I don't mention to anyone, who am I helping? Eric Dunlap was just 34 when he found something completely unexpected, a hard lump in his chest. That's how Dunlap realized that he had breast cancer. It's a disease we hear a lot about in women, but not so much in men. However, Dunlap is working to change that. The Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin is here now with his story. And Sine and Tom, breast cancer in men, especially in younger men like Dunlap was, is rare. The American Cancer Society says just over 2,500 men will be diagnosed with invasive breast cancer in the U.S. this year. And at the time, Dunlap was a young dad with two young children, and he could not believe that this was happening to him. Eric Dunlap says his first sign of trouble was a searing pain while he was working out. I couldn't get off the ground. The pain was that great, and I thought, okay, maybe I've torn something. But it wasn't a muscle. Dunlap had breast cancer. The first thought was, are you sure? I'm a man. How could I have breast cancer? You know, I'd never had a cavity, didn't smoke, didn't drink. And I get breast cancer? My mother was diagnosed with breast cancer four years before my diagnosis. And my grandmother died from breast cancer in 1974. So I knew about breast cancer, but I just didn't associate it with men. Not many men do, says Emory Winship Cancer Institute surgical oncologist Dr. Cletus Arcero. He says about 2% of his breast cancer patients, like this man who's undergoing a biopsy, are male. And I think a lot of it has to do with awareness. So those that are more aware may actually, they, they'll come in with a much smaller mass. They're like, oh yeah, doc, I felt a, an abnormality here. And then we start working it up. But Dr. Arcero says some men wait even with symptoms. They may come in where the mass is much larger, maybe even has spread to lymph nodes, and they just never thought to check that area, and unless it becomes something obvious that's coming through the skin or something like that, they just don't think about it. I was 34 years old at the time of the diagnosis. My focus was, how do I get well? Because I have a 13-month-old and a three-year-old who are looking up to me to be dad. Eric Dunlop underwent a mastectomy and then six months of chemotherapy at Winship Cancer Institute. All the guys that I would speak to would say, how do you know when you have it? It's not something that has to be done all the time, but quick, quickly in the shower, feeling around uh, your, your nipple and that central part of your breast and just making sure there's, there's nothing new and, and different. I'm the only man in the calendar, I can say. 18 years out, Eric Dunlop doesn't mind being the guy in pink. If I stay in the shadows and I don't talk about it, and I don't mention to anyone, who am I helping? His kids are now grown up, and Dunlop says he often thinks back on a conversation he had as a seven-year-old who was losing his grandmother to breast cancer. So as I was holding her hand, I looked at her and I said, you know, one day I'm going to do something about cancer. And she opened her eyes widely and she said, I know you will. And those were the last words she spoke. And Dunlap says he talks about cancer all the time with men now. And about 1% to 2% of all breast cancers occur in men, usually in men but in their 60s and 70s. And men and women diagnosed at the same stage tend to respond to the treatment equally well. The main problem, though, is that many women are very aware of changes in their breast tissue, but many men are not. So they're less likely to be looking for it, and they're more likely, Tom and Sine, to be diagnosed a little bit later down the road because they just don't know. Yeah, a lot of times women are doing the monthly Monthly checks, but yes. are there specific symptoms for men to look so, out no, for? So no, men have some of the same symptoms as, as women. The problem is they don't have as much breast tissue to check and feel, but it, it's basically a lump or really look for any kind of change in your breast tissue and the feel of it or any change in the appearance. You know, that can be really a, a strong warning sign to get in and get it checked out. Meantime, Eric Dunlap, not looking bad in that calendar. No, right. a pretty good picture. Yep, yep. still <laughs> representing for the company. men. Yep. Thanks, Thank you Beth. so much, Beth.